good morning, people. It's Friday, so the day before Lisa arrives. Yay, 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 yay. Um, and what I'm going to do for you today, good morning, Alfie, uh, is I'm planning to do a little bit of a bling demonstration of some of my Zorowski pieces that I was talking to you about before. No, I don't want to kiss, thank you. Go get your bump somewhere else. Ah, so... If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Please leave lots and lots of comments. Tell me if you think I'm doing what you want to see. If you don't want to see, uh, tell me if there's things that you would like me to do. Um, leave me comments. Uh, give me a thumbs up. And let's see if we can grow my subscribers. So today, as I say, a bit of a blank canvas. I've got a little bit of makeup on just so I don't look like I'm dead. Good morning, Carter. Um, and I got a low neck plain black dress on because I wanted a blank canvas. Now, without further ado, what I will start with is um, one of my favorite pieces. It's an earrings and necklace set uh, with a very beautiful design. It is. A rose now this is made of leather it's hand carved it's beautiful with Zorowski crystals on now it's not for the faint-hearted uh, none of my jewelry really is I don't do faint-hearted jewelry I do fairly blingy jewelry now I wore this on my very first date with BB <laughs> so I've had it some time um, it's incredibly versatile because it's beige it goes with everything um, it's very lightweight so it's very easy to wear but as I say but particularly the earrings are not for the faint-hearted um, and also because I was showcasing some earrings I decided it was a good idea that I put my hair up in a, a French pleat so it's not quite Amy Winehouse but hey so yeah, that's the first piece I wanted to show you. Now, a lot of these pieces I've had some time, so you possibly won't be able to get them again, but if you're in Finikunda and you visit Yotta, she will tell you whether or not the pieces that I'm showing you are still available because she deals with the, the designers and the makers directly. Uh, but as you can see, this is incredibly pretty. It's incredibly eye-catching. And with something like this that's very plain and very simple, it's just perfect. So there you go, my little rose collection that I love with all my heart. Uh, I'm going to have a look at some of my bracelets now, because I do have something of a collection of them. Now the first ones I'm going to look at, these are the just the Swarovski crystals. Oh, you're going to die when you see this colour. On a sort of suede leather band but look at that color these are so juicy these are so juicy they're beautiful um, they're very eye-catching they're very simple you could wear that just that and you've completed your outfit now I have these as I say in several colors I have that beautiful juicy green I have a sand color which is incredibly pretty incredibly pretty uh, this one the final one I've got of these is in one of the opal colors this is pink opal now you can just see that little pink highlight in it and again it's incredibly pretty sits very nicely on the wrist they are pressed studs so they're very secure press studs as well. You, you don't worry about problems with the clasps with the Swarovski stuff. It's very good. So there you go. My little bracelets in that collection. Now Yossa also has done a couple over the years that are still Swarovski, still on leather, but they're slightly different. For example, this one is like a snakeskin band and it's got, again, the sandstone coloured Zorowski crystals on. It doesn't want to do up because it's quite stiff this one. But it's very pretty. 
and again goes with everything you can wear this with all colors it's very simple to wear very comfortable definitely something I like this one is horsehair it's black horsehair with the white diamond and th this is beautiful this is this is a bit rock star this one because it's people want to touch it because it's slightly furry it's very pretty one of my favorite pieces now huge collection of these I have these are plain leather woven bands with one of these kind of affairs to do it up but the colors what can I say about the colors I have the juicy green and I have two of these the reason why is I stack them so I will put this on and either side of it I will stack these so it looks like one big bracelet um, again it's a fabulous look Look at that, that is such a piece. Even though it's three pieces, it looks like a piece. But I have this in many, many colors. Let me show you some of the colors I've got. I have, in the opal, this is like the sand colored opal. Goes with everything. I have the pink opal, again, because they look relatively similar if you see them apart. You need to see them together to get the real benefit of the colours. And I also have another page, a darker beige and a soft blue. Now again, you can stack these, you can wear them singularly. They look incredibly pretty on. They're very, very good value for money. Um, and Yotta has stacks and stacks of colours. They're beautiful pieces. Uh, some of my other colours. There's two different blues. Incredibly pretty. And this is what they look like on. Let me just zoom down. Pop that on. Oh, oh. I feel cool. And there you go. So you can see it sits very nicely on the wrist. Even, and I'm skinny wristed, so if, you, if you're a little bit bigger, they look even better, because I think sometimes on me they kind of hang, but I just love them so much, and I wear them all the time. So they're my blues. I have the black diamond, which goes again with everything. The beautiful sand colour. It's not, this light is not doing these justice, because in... in not natural daylight there, oh, so blingy. A beautiful amethyst. Look at this yellow. <laughs> I'm sitting here looking at my Swarovski and I'm, I'm almost sexually excited. And a lovely juicy pink. And again, you know, if you've got the right color outfit with it, it will blow people away. I do have a couple of other bracelets, but I will show you them in a second. Now, this little set I bought for my best friend's son's christening uh, because I wore an incredibly beautiful BU dress in like a, a very pretty turquoisey blue. And I wore this, but I wore it higher. I can just, I won't tie it up. But look at that colour. And the little matching bracelet. And I also have, to go with that, these incredible earrings, which look... <laughs> That's how I'll be having a little sigh. Where's my hole? Can't find my hole. Ella, there it is. Look at these earrings. And, you know... As a little set, it was very inexpensive. It looked beautiful with the outfit I wore. Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely one of my joyous little purchases. Now, ouch. What 
what should we do next? Okay, let's, let's run through some of my earrings because there are several. These I bought last year. These were one of last year's models. Dude, look at these earrings. Now again, these are quite bold, like me. Um, my ears going to be bright red by the time I finish this. Oh, fly! This is the problem. When there are many occupied houses and you're the only thing around, you attract the insects, which is, which is a problem. Oh, look at them. Look at them. They hang beautifully. They're incredibly eye-catching. They move nicely. Um, and when you've got your hair up like this, it just draws attention to the pretty collarbone area and the cleavage, which is what I'm always showing off, frankly. So yes, my beautiful little crystal drops. I bought a similar pair. Oh, we were together last year. <coughs> but in a colour. They're not the same. They're of a similar design. Look at those things. And they curl round the chain that it hangs from. Dude! <laughs> Seriously? Seriously? Piss off, fly. And there you go, my beautiful blue drops. Now, along the same vein, dude, I'm going to get cross with this fly in a minute. I love these, which just blow me away. Excuse me, itchy nose. And look how pretty they are. Little tiny white Zorowskis on top, and big and small blue circular ones at the bottom. Uh, all of the metals are very good quality, they don't hurt, they don't stain, they don't lose their colour, so if they're gold or rose gold or whatever, fabulous, just beautiful. Um, these were a gift last year from my wonderful friend Mark in England, his dad came with him last year and stayed here for their holiday, and look what he bought me. This is like a, a lilac-y, it's a, a changing colour, it's very pretty. Uh, none of these are heavy, none of these are uncomfortable to wear. Um, and you will get so much use from these earrings. <clears throat> and I have a huge collection of earrings, huge. Purely because they are so easy to wear. New purchase, I've got to show you these. This is this year's collection. These, I don't generally do a lot of hoops, but these caught my eye. They're the black diamond. They just hang. They're incredibly pretty, very light catching. Um, we're going to be dancing with the fly the whole time. I can smell it coming. Talking of hoops, <laughs> one of my few pairs. Now, these are bold. Not just the size of the hoop, <clears throat> but the colour of the stones. They're a mixture of pinks, and you've got that lovely amethysty colour. You've got the white, that uh, pink opal. You've got a pink stone, and you've got one of these multicoloured stones here. Uh, very pretty. You don't need a lot of anything else with that. The only thing I tend to do is this is well it is jewelry i suppose this is made by one of the designers i know yotta doesn't have these anymore this is a belt it is stunning and with something like this color i would possibly wear this so let me show you how it works it sits around your body and you just hook it in and pull me in there you go so it's just a plain gold like minky belt this is handmade as well it's stunning and it's just something a little extra now take me 
later. But they are beautiful. I have several pairs of the drop style. Now, these two colours here are black diamond and a blue. I've got them in different shapes. Um, very faceted, very beautiful. They show, they look incredible in the ear. I'm not going to put everything in because otherwise I'm going to be here for hours and we don't want that. Very pretty earrings. Uh, I also have them in the white opal, but these are part of the set, which I will show you in a second. I have some danglies, which I'm very fond of. You've got some little Zorowski crystals in there, but these are basically metal, but they're very pretty and they look incredible on. Let me just put, stick this one in for you so you can see. Like I say, my ear is going to be very red. Again, no necklace because these are big enough that, you know, you can wear too much. And I have often been guilty of this. Now, the pièce de résistance in, in the <coughs> clip-in earrings, let's keep my hand over it so you can't see them until I unveil. These hook through and very secure. They're not heavy, despite what you may think. Dude, look at them. Look at those things, they are stunning. Uh, again, not for the faint hearted, but they're just beautiful, incredible pieces of jewellery. Now, she also does a range of studs. Now, the studs are very simple to wear, very easy to wear. I have several colours which I will show you. This is the smaller size, which I have in pink opal. I have in the blue and I have in the black diamond. They're incredibly pretty. I also have some of the bigger size, which I've got a different pale blue and the jet black. And, and they're lovely, again, in the ear. Very easy to wear, very complimentary, just look incredible. So I mentioned hmm, the white set. Dude, I put them oh, there. This set is lovely. Um, this is the uh, white opal teardrop, and with it, I have a ring, which is to die for. It's beautiful. Doesn't make my fingers go green. Colours lovely. Uh, it's quite heavy, but, you know, it's, it's a worthwhile piece. And with that comes, or I bought a necklace. This is, again, hand-designed, handmade, and this is just stunning. This is beautiful. Um, I do think that altogether it's a little bit too much, so I would possibly wear the earrings and the necklace, or the ring and the earrings, or you know, possibly the necklace and the ring, and leave my ears blank. But sits nicely on the cleavage. You've got a beautiful size stone there. This I've had about three years, and as you can see, there is no tarnish. It's not lost its colour. Beautiful quality, beautiful pieces. Um, That's off. That's again another lovely piece. In fact, all my pieces are lovely. In the same vein, uh, and by the same designer, who also made the belt incidentally, uh, I have this piece. Now, I love this. This was the first big piece I bought. Uh, and I just fell in love with how it looks, the fact that it's asymmetric. It hangs, essentially, down to my waist. Not for the faint of heart. You've got a black diamond and the, the jet. Beautiful colours. Goes with everything. But look where it comes to. Ella, it comes to here. 
so it's uh, again a big bold piece that I love very much. Now to my beady type things, I have a few different types, this is a short one, love the colours, love the, the little spiky bits on the, the second row, sits beautifully on the neck and again as you can see you don't have to say anything about these things they speak to you and they surely speak to me um, this is a fabulous piece you know you're wearing it but then I like that in jewelry I don't like flimsy jewelry um, despite being a relatively small dainty creature I actually like quite chunky stuff Beautiful. Another set of beads. Pretty colour. Uh, it, uh, originally it came, you've got big leather rows with the, the Zorowski, you've got Zorowski crystals here. Originally it came, it hung plain. I've got a carter here. Um, I just pulled it together with some thread because what I found, because I've got boobies, I'm not a member of the itty bitty titty committee, uh, and they used to be a lot bloody bigger than this, um, it used to either fall round one boob or round both, and I didn't like it. Uh, it's not how it's meant to look. And it's not because of the weight, because these are a good weight, these beads, they're beautiful, look at them. Look at the colours. Even though they're just blue, They've got little colours in them and it's it's a fabulous piece. There's my leather. There's my leather. Look at the Zorowskis on there. <laughs> it's, it's, again, a juicy piece. Now, as you'll see from up behind me, and I can see you licking your lips when you're looking at them, I have a fair collection of <coughs> long, tasseled beads. These are my favourite. These I wear all the time which is why I've got several of them. Uh, they hang very beautifully because of the weight, they're nice uh, and this is the base. Look at it, you've got a very good quality tassel, none of your cheap pish, beautiful size Zorowski, you've got the Zorowski crystals and again this hangs to my waist. Um, beautiful to wear, very pretty and this I have the matching bracelet for and it's it, it speaks for itself so there's the beige I have another beige one but it's different this is you've got a different color stone in the center it's got some pearls on it as well as the Zorowski beads and you've got the sand color stone in this with a little gold decoration above. Again, very good quality tassel. Goes with everything. Looks very pretty. You, I mean, even in this light, you can see it catching the sun and bing, bing, bing. Beautiful piece. Very, very easy to wear. I got my this year statement piece. It's a plain black one. Black beads big fat grey pearl and the black diamond here. All of these hang to my waist. Uh, it's a bit of cotton, that's what I can see. Uh, well, whatever. Um, same quality, very affordable, very affordable. This was under 50 euro and the weight of it, ridiculous. Just such a beautiful piece. But my favourite, and I've had this, I think, two or three years, <coughs> and I wear it all the time. Dude, look at that. Oh, it's just the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. Uh, you've got the red bead. None of the beads here are plain red. They've all got a little bit of black on. This one is plain red. So it makes it stand out and you've got like an onyx circlet on it. Very pretty. 
Very, very pretty. Now, I also have a dangly pair of earrings that don't exactly go, but can go. But look at these buggers. Oh. Again, not for the faint of heart. Beautiful, beautiful colour of the tassel. You've got the big jet stone here, a crystal stone, and then you've got the little crystals underneath it. Uh, very lightweight, those ones are very pretty. And this one you've already seen me wear. This is a shorty one that hangs at the front. Incredibly pretty. Great for me. Comes with a matching bracelet, which is there, which is isn't in a pink and like a sandy colour. And it's, it's incredible. And beautiful Yotta, who, as I say, is the lady that introduced me to these, gave me a little gift last year of these, which go with it. And they're so simple and so pretty, and I love them to pieces. Now, I see that I have forgotten my two huge statement pieces, but there's something I must show you. I'm going to show you in both ears. You're going to crap your pants when you see this. These were my statement piece last year. Still Swarovski, but this is inspired and designed by Jean-Paul Gaultier. Now, anyone who knows me knows I'm a bit of a Gaultier fan. Dude, look at those earrings. Again, don't wear a necklace with it because you would just look like you're drowning in jewels. But look at those earrings. They are so pretty. And I did get with it a very, very beautiful ring. Now, I don't know if you can see it. Let me, because I can't always see with my glasses. Um, focus, you bugger. Here, you can, that's a Jean-Paul Gaultier. Just. So it's like a, an electric-y blue. It's got so much depth. They've been carved, so you've got like a, a carving through the stone, which gives you this beautiful shimmer. Alfie, bugger off. Nobody needs to see you. Hello, Carter. Now, I've forgotten two of my big, big, big statement pieces. <laughs> you think the others are big. <laughs> Quick one on this, look. Very plain, very simple, in the silvery colour. Oh, not Zorowski, but it's part of the same series, so hello. Uh, give me one second. La, 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 la. Best green, best green, best. being chased by a big puppy. Right, so prepare yourselves. Let me put my glasses back down so I can see what I'm doing. It's going to be another long video, sorry chaps, but it was worth it to show it to you. Dude, are you ready for this? I bought this for gigging. It was not cheap. It was worth every cent. And you will see why. Ta-da! Now, it's a shortish piece. Sits right up on the collarbone. Bitch, look at that. Look at those colours. This was actually designed, the colours were all designed by Yotta. Um, so, you know, you can put with that the little black crystals. You can wear the black diamond. You can wear the white opal. There's so much you can do with it. And it just looks like the most stunning piece. But like I say, all my jewellery is not for the faint-hearted. And this most certainly is not. Um, a lot of people would be tempted to pair this with these. I don't recommend it. It's too much. You need something a bit more subtle. As much as that goes against my grain. But dude, look at that. It's stunning. It's beautiful. And my biggest piece, 
unless you have got a CDX. You will have wet dreams over this thing. It is beautiful. It's designed by Yotta entirely. She picked the colours. She picked the piece. <sighs> Some people are going to hate this. I love it. Purely because... <laughs> Dude, look at that. Now, it's a gate. So this is heavy. This is heavy. It's a piece of a gate. I think it needs to be a bit tighter. Um, does sit out from my boobs if I don't do it tight enough. That's better. Um, 